know? It's just another way, but get, uh, give me um, Isaiah 51, and I think it's 14. Isaiah 51. I mean, we're going right here, right by the opening. Yeah. Okay, let me get this real quick. We just Captain, 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 like for example, I was in the gym and I could have been locked up for a long time. I didn't do what he did. You know, but how this devil works, he, he trump charges up, he make up charges. Well, I went in there, I went in there, I didn't eat, I didn't drink for 24 hours. And I walked up, the very next day I ended up walking out of it because I fasted. You know, I, I put on that affliction. I afflicted myself even more, you know. But that's the Lord listening to those that are crying out to me. You got to pray, you got to know his name, and you got to, you know, and, and you got to know how to afflict yourself. Right, right, but you know, I fast for 40 days, 40 nights, 40 days, 40 nights, no food, no water for 40 days, 40 nights, 40 days. Listen, 40 listen, days. listen, bro. No, I, I, no food, no I, water, no food, right? No, no food. Proper, proper fast is no food, no water. That's a that's a health fast that you did. That's uh -huh. a fast for health. That's a fast that you, that the world put on you for health reasons, you know. Which it is a fast, but it ain't the fast that the Lord required. The Lord required. No, 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 no. Yeah, like we got we got a day of atonement coming up. Baby. It's coming up next month, the eighth or the ninth. Yeah, the eighth or the ninth. Huh? The day of atonement is when you are you're afflicting your soul, like I'm telling you, you're afflicting your soul. Huh? You uh? Yeah, yeah, that's what they call. Yeah, that's what they call. That's what they call. They already did their so-called day of atonement, right? But they only do it for a half a day. They don't even do the full day. Yeah. I was, I was I'm, I'm basically in the end. Right now, I'm going to sit so I'm telling you. You got to understand that you're working with me. Well, I mean, God is a judge, you know, like you told me. He's a judge. He said the spirit can go off stage and judge his own. Right, but we're the judge. We are the judge. We are put here to judge. We are, what, what is a witness? Um, what is a watcher? The watch, the person that's out watching. You know, cause, and he's trying out because he's seeing all the madness. What's an apostle? On. You know, there you go. A sent yeah. out. He's sent out to do the work. You no, know? that's right. That's right. So we're the judges, man. We are here to judge. You know, we're in the we're, we're in the Lord's footsteps. We're doing the same thing the Lord was doing when we were talking. The same exact thing. Oh, was there more than that? That was that. That was it. Because that goes with Revelation two and. Uh, Ten, I think, with some of the uh, fear none of those things that thou shalt suffer from the devil. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that proves yeah. who the devil is. So it's there, 42 and 22. But this is the people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for some prey. And none delivered for spoil and none said for store. That's right, because we ain't got no money. You go to jail, you go to the court, man. It's only through the grace of my pool that we have had some money or something to help the brother look down the street and find the jail cell, man. You know, but we broken, we all afflicted. All is all hell, man. And barely, we can all barely put a quarter together to go buy a loaf of bread, you know? Shit. Curses! What you ask me when you walk through the door, man? I don't my ass, I feel like shit. Because we've been afflicted, right? That's the only thing. Is there more into it though? It says, that's Isaiah 41 and 23. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? To the robbers, who gave us? Well, 
Rob, that's who the scripture, that's who the robber is. The Edomites, the so-called Edomites, man. You're familiar with who your enemy is. Study your enemy. Learn your enemy, man. You know? So you can know who he is. So you can tell the people who your enemy is. And the enemy, according to the Bible, hate the so-called enemy that they'll do right now. Once they put on that name, I'm a white man. Because white means holy and pure. But this man is a devil, man. He is an Edomite. They're the Edomites. You know? And the Lord created these motherfuckers to be devil. Not all these white people, man. Because some people can tell him. You can tell him some of the white people who are the same as us, man. You can just tell by looking at them, man. They look afflicted, wretched, Born down, tore up. They evil you know, as hell. And eat. Oh my God. They, that's one thing. That's how you know we the same people. Because we, we're wicked as all fucking hell, man. You know? Evil. Just evil. That's the evil. reason we cursed to begin with. Right. Because the Lord told you in Deuteronomy 28, if you don't follow these laws, you're going you gonna to catch a curse. And that's, a, that's the spirit that I was just going to learn for. When you have church, man, you have church and you got church for people. Understand, you know, understand what's going on. And the part of understanding is you gotta read the scriptures and break the scriptures down. How y'all gentlemen doing? Oh, you know, okay, so here you go. This is Deuteronomy 28. And I'm gonna start at 15, then I'm gonna skip all the way down to where I need. 15, you know where it is. If that's that's, that's right, right? Oh, you know what I'm doing? 28, 15. Yeah. But, if shall, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not work it. Unto the voice of the Lord, like oh, let me let me read it again. Go well, down and hear the words. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power, to observe, to do all His commandments and His statutes, which I have commanded thee this day. Oh, this day don't mean two thousand years ago. This day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Oh, that, I, all, that all these curses come upon you. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Overtake. Now, let me go to hey. let me go to my point. The 456, 28, and 54. Yeah, he won't be pushing his head. He said he won't go. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave. You know? No understand. Let me move you this thing. I'm over. Cool. I gotta stop here. Yeah. Well, in his mind, because he you knows people think, oh, I can quote scriptures. I'm, I'm deep now. I'm deep now. Read John, John 316. He's so shaped the world. I'm on fire now. You know? Hey, I got I got a uh, precept for the curses though. You got more than that? That was it. Unless you want me to read the more. Well, yeah. Because uh, I can go in that Leviticus. Okay. Okay, uh, the remnant of his children should be 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his son. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children from whom he shall eat. <laughs> because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thy enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Yeah, that's what they're doing in all of our, all the cities. They're getting distressed by our enemies. Oh, like with that shit popping off over there in Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee and Georgia. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia too. Georgia. Georgia. Same thing going on in Milwaukee. I see some happening in Georgia. Same thing. shit. Was it? Yeah, same shit, man. You know a different scenario how it plays out with cops shooting all fucking over there shooting cops. People riding. But hey, the one in Georgia, they have cops running. So, who are they running from? <laughs> running. It's not like Jake knows any tactics. <laughs> Military uh, tactics. Unorganized as hell. Come in, call in Jake's special forces. Call in the nigga that's special forces. But they think the niggas. <laughs> yeah, they, they gonna get murdered. Hey, bro. It's like he, he, Esau goes to college for, for warfare. You know what I mean? Study, study. They study warfare. And that's his blessing. Jake's blessing is not war. Even though we do got some of the b baddest dudes on the planet. We got all Exactly. I don't know what he said. Uh, hey, let me read something for you. What you got? I'm not saying going nowhere. I'm getting what you just said. Uh, I was about to read uh, Leviticus 26 and uh, 27. Uh, 
big. I can't hear you, bro. Because it goes into all the blessings. Right. Let's read all you know, the blessings. Just going in how you say that um, this devil goes to school and study military acts and tactics. And yeah, right. They go to Citadel, West Point. Right. They right. study the West tactics. Point, yeah. They study Alexander's tactics. They study uh, history. They study all, everybody. Okay. And that was Alexander's blessing in Philip. Philip uh, the second of Macedonia. They, they had the blessing of warfare. That's the what the Lord gave Esau that blessing. The scriptures tell you that uh, Alexander was an Edomite. And look, what did he do? He went he conquered a whole damn world almost. Terrible. Because they had superior military tactics. And the Lord was with them. Because the Lord used the, the Macedonians to uh, take down the Persians. And eventually, the Lord used the Romans to take us down. And 30. I'm sorry, way up. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob just uh, scarce gone out from, from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from hunting. And he also had made savior meat and brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison, that thou, that thou soul may bless me. And Isaac, his father, said unto him, or thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison and brought in me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry, but some cry I would love to have heard, and said unto his father, Bless me. Even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with sublime subtlety and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. Is he is he not <laughs> rightly named Jacob? Bad, man. That, is, that is a good scripture. Is he not rightly named Jacob? <laughs> wow. Because you know Jacob means supplanter. But Jake's a natural born hustler. You know what I mean? Straight hustler. Why you see over on the corner, Jake on the corner, man. That's hustling. Always, always trying to yeah, get That's somebody. Hustling. Trying to get you, trying to sell you that broken PlayStation. Right. Yeah. Um, and he said, thy brother came in some subtlety and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he have taken away my blessing. Because it really in the spirit, because... The Lord already set it up because people always try to say Jacob was the evil one. And to the scriptures tell you before Jacob was even born, that God, the Most High, he said what? He said that the elder shall serve the younger. Before they was even born, he said that. Because it was the Lord's choice. It was the Lord was the one to control that whole scenario. He created Esau to be the wicked. He's the one that made Esau sell his birthright. He's the one that used Jacob to trick his ass. Alex Jones soon said Jacob was jealous of Esau. <laughs> and he said... Well, look, look who Alex Jones was married to, that little boy's mom. She was a so-called Jew. And that, then the bitch divorced his ass, and now she's getting him for millions, bro. That's why Alex Jones had the, uh, the fundraiser, the last money bomb. There was people that came out and leaked the information that said the last money bomb was to uh, pay like a million and something dollars to his wife, his ex-wife. What? You seen him have that one show, the 24 Hours Marathon? Yeah, that's the money bomb. Yeah, that was it. That yeah. was it. I don't. I can't watch that shit. Man. Oh, yeah. Too many commercials. That's, they that's, need to call it. The they need to change the name to Infomercial Word Wars. Info. 
That infomercial word. Oh, shit. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? Um, and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept, crying like a fucking bitch. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. The fatness, that's why Esau controls the whole earth now. And the Rothschilds are the richest family on earth, and they tell you that they're Edomites. Right there in their name, too. The word Roth means red, just like Edom. You can get on uh, Google right now, just type in Rothschild Edomites. Just type that in, see what you find. Like that book you got. That book you got, uh, there's a, what's that book you got called? Who is Esau Edom? Esau Edom. Who is Esau Edom? Look for that book. Yeah. And that was probably written by, uh, was that written by a Jew or some Christian? Who's a Jew? Who's a Jew? I can't remember. Who's a Jew? The so called Jews, they tell you who they are. We, we've had Jews tell us that they're actually Edomites, and then they teach them in the synagogues that they're Edomites. They tell you that, man. And they figured that they done got the system so rigged and fucked up that Jake ain't going to read this shit eventually. That's in their mind. They thinking eventually he ain't going to never read it. Yeah, because, you know, Jake, all he would care about is playing video games, right. smoking blunts. Jake. Yeah, it's, right. Just doing a bunch of dumb shit. Because our people, that's true, though. Because the scripture said our people is destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They got no interest in knowledge. Well, here it is. Esau is sending his children to the best schools in the country. Best. I mean, they're learning every day. They're learning how to speak multiple languages from a young child. Like we, They're learning military tactics. They send their young men to uh, Citadel, to West Point. That's why when you talk to them, man, they don't even know they don't know much of shit as far as prophecy and the end times. Yeah. Their conversation is like debating with you, man. Right. You know? Because they've been educated. Programmed to be that way, yeah. Right. Yeah. They, they've, they've learned history when they went to school. Yeah, you know? Yeah, they're great. Our people, yeah, they, they, <laughs> our people don't know nothing about history. Stupid, stupid. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of the heaven from above. Right, because the fatness of the earth, that's why the Marine Corps logo shows that eagle sitting right on top of the earth, showing you he has full dominion over the whole planet. You know what I'm saying? He tells you that, but he's boasting and boosting. Eagle oh yeah, the eagle has landed. <laughs> oh yeah, because the scriptures liken uh, Esau into that eagle, because he's got that proud eagle spirit. He thinks he's higher than everybody else, soaring like the eagle, you know what I mean? Yeah, when he's really just the basis of men, he's really a worm. And like the scripture says in Genesis, he's that serpent. And they eat dust dog, he's the basis of creatures. Because the serpent's the basis of all creatures, right? It, it crawls on its belly on the dirt. That's right. And you can't trust a serpent. Slithering around. Just slithering all over the place. And by thy sword shall thou live. And shall serve thy brother. And he said, by the sword shall they live. Is that is that not how America was formed? It was by the sword, right? That's crazy. It says, and shalt thou and, sh and, and shalt serve thy brother. I don't, I don't remember that one. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that ye shall break his yoke from off thy neck. And that yoke's coming back. Right, right, because that happened, right. It tells you how Satan was uh, up in his prison. Up in the uh, the, the, the chains of uh, the bottomless pit. In Revelation, it tells you how Satan was locked up in a bottomless pit for a thousand years. But then he was loose. Those chains were loosened. That's where that shit, that bullshit, European, that European come from. You know, no fucking European. You know? They're not European. What did word European go from the, uh, come from the Greek goddess Europa? You know what I mean? That goes back to the Hellens. It was Jake that came up with the word Europe. Because, you know, Esau likes to pretend because he blend, we try to blend in with everybody. Because people don't understand either that Jacob and Esau have long lived side by side with each other for thousands of years. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days 
a mourning for my father or a hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. See, that's all he's thinking about, slaying his brother. Killing him. Killing him. You know what I mean? I used to get that uh, uh, second Ezra 6 and 9. Uh, What'd you ask for? Second Ezra 6 and 9. There went out another horse that was red. The power was given to him that sat there on Yeah, that red horse as Esau. Take hey. Right. And that's what they do. That's what they said. They want nothing but death and destruction. And, and really, it's Esau who's behind all that Black Lives Matter movement and all that. It ain't unspilled the beans about how one of the leaders was living in the house. Hey, man, they clowning now, man. Black Lives Matter, man. They are clowning. Oh, no, no wonder they're going to be labeled terrorists. But, but you ever see the leaders of them? They always talk yeah, all proper. Yeah, they yeah, talk yeah. like Edomites. Yeah. The black people. Yeah, they, they could be Edomites. Even the black women, the voices amongst them. They sound yeah. like Edomites. Yeah, yeah. They just got dark skin. There's no terror. Because people, they always like to talk about how the uh, the white man raped all the black women. Well, okay, that did happen. So what do you think what kind of children they had when they was... There was little Edomite babies popped out, wasn't there? Little Edomite babies. So that's why today you got a lot of so-called black people who are actually Edomites. Uh, you know, that's how they, that's William, why. You, William Bale. That's what, who? William Bale. Oh, that one dead preacher dude. Yeah. So that's why you got to judge the spirits, man. You can't just be judging everybody just based on appearance. You got to judge their spirit. I got six and you, you can't just trust anybody, man. You gotta judge their spirit. You gotta say that's a blessing, man. It really is. That's, it, that's crazy, it's been man. Poor all day. Out, man. Hey, but check this out, though. <laughs> Second is this on camera? I'm gonna start at seven, though. See what I'm saying? This is on camera? Y'all yeah. gotta get you one of these. In case this does rain, I got the waterproof camera. You know what I'm saying? Back up. I can't afford the GoPro, but I got one of these, boy. Uh, the second answer six and seven. Then answer I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of time? Yeah, so everybody wants to know about how how the end times and all the Armageddon and all that, how's everything going to play out? Go ahead. Uh, then answer I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow. Exactly. So when the hell is this piece of shit country? When is this going to end? And when is the kingdom of heaven going to commence? Go ahead. Yeah, read all that. Oh, yeah. 24th of Matthew. Oh, yeah. Um, so I can ask you all And beginning of it that followed, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. Right, so the end of the world, he's telling you. That this world right here is going to end. It don't mean the whole planet Earth's going to die and blow up. Nah. The world, this age is going to end. There's going to be a new age right. on we're Earth. With a massive meteor or some shit. Right. Or solar storm. But we're going to get yeah. fucked out, man. They come with all kinds of madness, man. All kinds of madness. Yeah, so we we gonna be running shit. Uh, when this is destroyed, we gonna be running shit after that. The nation of Israel, Jacob, because Jacob is Israel. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold up, uh, hold on. So you must. Matthew twenty-four, six. It says. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. And that's all you got, number wars and rumors of wars. We what, got, what shall be the end? Now we got domestic wars, race wars right here in America with Milwaukee burning down. Hey, I'll be getting the popcorn now watching that, boy. I couldn't get off the computer this morning, bro. <laughs> I woke up this morning, it felt like, it felt like I just got a present or something. You know what I mean? Like, ooh. Because that helps your spirit, man. It does. See prophecies take effect. It helps your spirit. This is happening, man. No matter what these pastors are going to the streets, and they're still going to the streets of these riots talking about peace, brother. It ain't peace. No, it's peace. No, yeah, it ain't no peace. You know, there ain't no goddamn peace with your fucking enemies. You know? So, 
As he had sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, which shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? Yeah, so what's going to be the sign of the Lord's coming? The same thing Ezra's asking, you know? Same thing. But how, yeah, how you going to know when he's going to return? Go ahead. And at the end of the world, you know, shall I answer and said unto them. And it really you. means at the end of the age, right? Go ahead. Error. The error? Yeah. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am I am the out uh, Christ, and he shall and he shall it shall deceive many, and he shall hear wars and rumors and roars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, and we done seen the, the biggest of the wars in history as well, World War One, World War Two, and now we in the age now when where warfare is now nuclear. You know what I mean? So it's the biggest, baddest wars is ever going to be possible is like now. Yeah, they don't know. Uh, made them advance their technology. Is right, because that's Esau's blessing is warfare. And, and Esau doesn't fight warfare with swords and slings. He uses, the, you know, the technology. He pretty much, you know, he's got to cheat. He can't fight, you know, man to man. He's got to get you with some technology, hit you with a missile from 2,000 miles away. Right, just like uh, during World War I, when uh, they, you, they went and jacked some of Tesla's technology that, that helped them uh, uh, put that technology to, uh, to uh, what you call it, torpedoes. Oh, yeah. And the torpedoes got a, uh, a radar on them that yeah, can help yeah, them in. Yeah, Tesla invented radar and all right. that, well, radio and all that. So they was, ha they was anxious to use that, you know? They wanted to use that shit, they man. They did. They, wanted, they was anxious to use it, too. Especially, they got a severe hatred for the Germans, too. Oh, man. It, why, why is it both wars was against Germany? It was the whole world fucking team up to fight the Germans twice in a row. Right. That, Russia took a beat in World War I. Oh, they, in both World Wars. Yeah. Oh, they, oh you're right. You're right, you're right. This right. looked like they had an unlimited number of people. Because <laughs> they suffer Still more casualties than anybody. Yeah, if you get on get on uh, the Google and just type in uh, World War II, you can look on the Wikipedia or whatever, and it shows you the number of casualties in World War II. It, it's like it's like in the damn near a hundred million or something. Yeah, it's, wow, it's it's, it's, that was like a great calling. It was it's unbelievable how much blood was shed, and we still here. So we got that third woe is coming. That was the second woe, and now the third woe is coming. Go ahead. Oh, oh, my fault. And to back you up on that more, though, because uh, Putin said he's ready to nuke America. Because they just put new missile defense systems in Crimea. And you don't hear nobody talking about you. Yeah, he, like you said, North Korea. North Korea been saying they was going to nuke. They, well, they going to nuke South Korea, America, and everybody else. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold that up. Uh, Revelation 9 and 12. One war was passed, and behold, there come two wars forever, hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden archer, which is before the most high, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand, thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jasper and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be those missiles that's coming. Right. Because you know, John, he, he was seeing technology and machinery and weaponry that it had not yet been invented. That was a hell of a vision. So he's got to explain it the best way possible. All right, well, let me read it. But these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do. And the thing too, like uh, the third part of men, that's talking about the children of the wicked, the Esau. Oh shit, I'm not I'll go ahead. 
and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of all their works of their hands. That sounds like it. And it's a scripture in Ezra too that says something like that. They still didn't repent even right. though for all of these. What was that? Second Ezra 16 maybe? Okay. That they should not worship devils and idols and gold and silver and brass and stone and wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repent they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornications, nor of their deaths. Looking all gay. That's why you pray. You're supposed to pray to the Lord, bring his kingdom. Hey, I got a precept for that real quick. Second Ezra 16 and uh, 12. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof. The sea rises up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the Lord is before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow it, look, check this out. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be getting shot into the ends of the earth. That's those missiles. Getting shot from one side of the earth to the other. That's a hell of a technology to make. Man. That, make, that would make them over the proud, man. It does make them proud. Like, damn. They say they, they think all oh, America is the greatest nation. But y'all forgot that uh, Russia got more nukes than y'all. Right, right. Hey, hey, how many times have we been talking about Testing theirs, and they actually see this shit go from one decimal to from the, where it shoots to it. Where you never hear about America where they, where they say it's going to hit. You never hear about America testing 2,000 uh, yeah, right. a missile 2,000 miles away. Right. Never. They shit. might detonate one out in the middle of the desert. Right. They don't be testing the ICBMs though. And let me get the rest of this real quick. Cause this says the same thing as that. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for a mimic. But this is the point. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Mm. Right, you just read that in Revelation. They right. said they won't repent. Same thing. It said the same thing. Oh, but you might have people say, oh, you can't use the apocryphal though. You well, know what I mean? That's took the apocryphal out of there, man. He saw it's been eaten. And it got Alexander in it. Oh, no, we got to get rid of this. Yeah. Uh, I believe your dude James White, he's one of them, uh, uh, you're not allowed to use the apocryphal people. Because look, if you got a Bible with no apocrypha, how many books are in it? With no apocrypha, 66 books. Yeah, I need to. You say beer? You need to pray for you? What you need prayer for? My life. My life. Where are you from? What's, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? You're from Ghana? Okay. You're Jacob. You're Jacob. Well, it's like it's like from Ghana. Oh yeah. I used to ride with him. I got a, I got a talk against him. Ride a motorcycle, man. 
I go back to Ghana. To, to find that, to find that milk and honey. Oh yeah. To find that, to find that uh, the rolls of milk and honey. And the gold rolls of milk and honey. Now you know America's about to be destroyed. You know. America's too damn crazy. Okay. Yeah, it's a madhouse. Yeah, yeah this place is the insane asylum. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Okay, okay. You know, we're praying for all of Israel. You know, the elect of Israel to get up out of here. That's pretty much why we come out here for the elect of Israel for the Lord to come deliver us up from out of here, you know? So if you're part of that elect, you're part of those prayers. You're you know? praying the Lord destroy destroy all of this. All of it. All De of it. Deliver our people. And that's what the that's what the talk that's what the, when the scripture talking about being saved, that's what it's talking about. The Lord actually coming to physically save his children up out of here. Because this place is about to vaporize. Yeah, it's gonna be you burned know? up. Poof. It's gonna be burned Poof. up. What does the scripture right say? <laughs> hey, that's something to rejoice over. No, yeah. Where the scripture say what? Uh, it's always going to be burned up and all the works therein. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get a prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, you know, it comes like we got magical powers or something. Hey, they see yeah. something. They see something that the purple people eaters don't do. Or the they do, don't they? Yeah. You know? Motherfuckers, all you hear is bad reports about the purple. Oh, yeah, all we do is give y'all the truth, you know what I mean? <laughs> they say that stuff all the time. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. I've had women come up here before uh, and grab me and grab my garment and hold on to you. That's, on, that's when the lady touched the Lord's garment. Yeah. And he felt the virtue go Yeah. Was that, was that a loop or something? Yeah. And he felt it. The Lord felt it, man. He can, he's like, yeah. Yeah. Up, he's up. like, I felt some of my birth you know what I'm saying? Right. And, people just and then she was afraid terribly after that. <laughs> and we should get that. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's their people. That's how. That's just another way of them trying to snivel the way in. But that woman do, through her faith, that if I just touch his robe, you know, you know. But she, through her faith, she knew that we was the man of the Lord, though. Yeah, you right. can see that. That's right. That's right. So you never know, man, who the Lord gonna deliver on top of You really don't. You know, cause in the kingdom, you know, not look that feet down. Nah. You know, and this ain't gonna look like this, you know. Yeah, that's a bad story, man. You know? I'm about to get it. Get the liberty of all of you. Yeah, that's a blessing, man. You know? That's the biggest blessing of all, that we're going to be delivered up out of those nuclear People don't understand, that's what the Lord's Prayer is all about. When yeah, you say right. the Lord's Prayer, what do you say? Yeah. Oh, Our Father, know. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know what I mean? So when you, because you're praying to the Lord's kingdom come. That's what you're supposed to be praying. That's the Lord commanded you to pray that, pray for that. He didn't say pray for, for thy kingdom to come, but we're going to save America too with it. He didn't say that. Pray God to win the, 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 the mega lotto. The mega, mega lotto. That mega lotto. Yeah, praying for, for money. Million, you ain't going to be saved off this money. Man. That's what I be saying. I say it all the time, man. I, I ain't trying. I hope I don't win the lottery, man. Because that's a that's a clear sign. You, you don't. You ain't going to And I heard the lottery is set up yeah, anyway. They choose. They pick and choose. Yeah, they, got, they pick and choose. <laughs> Cause you know, I listen to all the conspiracy Ooh. talk radio shows and they had, they did interviews with people uh, exposing how the lottery is rigged. You're looking colorful today. Thank you, uh, right spirit. Okay. Hey, Jake. Hey, man. He got a tattoo in that face. Say, oh yeah, Jake would do that. Oh, oh right, right there. Oh, oh yeah, Israelite would do that, boy. Israel crazy as hell, hey, man. Hey, Jake, come up here and say, quick. Yep. Oh, Esau don't care about no prayers. Don't even. Somebody gotta remind you. Go ask him for prayer. He didn't want no prayers until he got that. Since so he got that last that blessing, that fucked his ass up. Hey, let me get this story real quick. Uh, uh, Luke eight. Man, where should I start? I'm gonna start at eight and forty. And it came to pass when Yahweh was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Yahawashai's feet. And Yahawashai's the Lord. He was working before Jesus, right? Yep. Right. And Did you remember that? You know what I'm saying? 
You didn't remember that, did you? Howard Shaw. Yeah, Howard Shaw. Right. That means he's our deliverer. Check this out. <laughs> hey, man, how you gonna pray if you don't pray no Lord's name, bro? Huh? You gotta know the Lord's name for me to hear your prayers. Hey, hey Jim, 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 Jim. Is that you say you ain't ignoring me? You're ignoring me because Jim's not your name. Yeah, because yeah, how aside, that's that that sacred ancient Hebrew name. Jesus is Who like is a name? Greek. Huh? Timothy. 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 Jake. That's a Jake for you. Jake is short for Jake. Yeah. And let me get, back. Let me get this script back. Yeah, you good. And uh, behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was the ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Yahweh's feet, and besought him that he would come into his house, for he had one only daughter, about 12 years of age, and she lay a dying. But as he went, the people thronged him, and a woman, having an issue of blood 12 years, it's not, not a 12 twice, 12 years of age, 12 years of age. Imagine just living, even if it ain't your woman, living with a woman that got an issue of blood for 12 years? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 been a, so much physical stress from the work world because oh, they gotta yeah, make that nah, money. They peer, yeah, they they're, they're peer messes their long. system up. Yeah, they messes their system up. Nah, she was that's gotta be hell. Yeah, she was on the pier for like six months, man. My wife went one time three months, man. Three months. You know? And this was years ago, man. I never, I didn't know, I didn't think about it till now, though. I'm like, yeah. Imagine that, though, living with a woman for a period because you will see that, that the, 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 the trash can fill up with no tampon on it. How do you look at the tampon when you see it full of blood, though? They let those tampons back in, man. They right, they right, right. Oh, they right. had some. Though. They had some form. They had rags. Right. They had more of what we think they did. What are you doing, man? Kick it with us, bro. Kick it with us, I man. Know, uh, my phone's dead. Oh, okay. Because you don't need your phone to talk to us. We're not texting yeah. each other. I'm just saying this is... I'm calling you, girlfriend and boyfriend. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, I'm doing <laughs> what you doing? Hey. I don't know what you doing. <laughs> Right, let's get back in it, man. Oh, right, yeah, let me read the rest of this. Yeah, that's nasty, though, looking at a period. Bro. Yeah, and a woman having, actually, the scripture said when a woman's on a period, it's, she's, she's supposed to uh, not be in the same house as you. That's why back in the ancient world, the, uh, the woman had a, uh, her own special house just for that period. When, when she got in there, she could be in there. Because they go, they crazy as hell when they're on the period, too. Nah, they say they was unclean. Hey, yeah, right, unclean. Hey, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll people of uh, royalty, man. Yeah. You know, so having a woman have her own crib, that ain't nothing yeah. unusual. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a bitch, you got bitches, you got hoes, they got their crib, you go from one to another, right? You know? And back they be in, your crib pretty back much. Back in them days, we, at had, that time, we had land and property back in the day. You know, hey, cattle, we had, we had cattle, cattle, you know, land. gold, silver, because we had jewelry, man. And we, we didn't... Our, our, our gold registered what you mean? Like, if we're doing what we're doing? Oh, 501c3. Nah, nah, bro. Nah. nah, you ain't supposed to do that. You ain't supposed to do that. That's making a covenant with uh, this devil. Yeah. That's, that's it said, you take, know what the covenant is, right? You know? It says, uh, yeah, you're supposed to make no covenant with your enemies. That's right. <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't trying to get paid, bro. We already got the riches. We already got the, the spiritual riches, which the spirit, the, the, the kingdom starts within you. Huh? Yep, yep. My wife works at home. Honestly, I was talking to people. I'm working with you, so that's why I'm listening to what you're saying. Right? No. But I, I come oh, beyond shit. Beyond the truth. Um, <laughs> in the spiritual application. Without the scripture. Without scripture, but it's scripture without scripture. Oh yeah, he's like a little sin. Let's take note. So, but actually, there's a scripture where he countered that. He said, "Now I tell you, do take the script. Take take your uh, coat, and sell it for a sword." Oh, wow. and this is a sword. 
That's at the end, though. He, cha he changed up. That was at the he beginning. At then the he beginning, flipped it. Then he flipped then it. Then he flipped it. At the beginning of his ministry, he was like, at the end, he's like, you want to That's in Luke, ain't it? That's definitely, that's in Luke. I can find it. Oh. Uh, Hey, let me finish up this one story. Why you look for that? Just do a search on sword, you'll find it. That's okay. And uh, let me finish this up because we was going on to this woman about this virtue. And for the camera's sake, I gotta get this out. Because we was going into a topic, I want to finish it. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. Right, because you know they always that's how they get you these days. You go up in the hospital. And, and the doctor will give you cancer. He, he, he got no cure, because there's no money in a cure. Came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood staunched. And Yahawashai said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee, and says thou, Who touched me? And Yahawashai said, Somebody hath touched me. For I perceived that virtue was gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. That's beautiful, man, because that's how we can come out here and do what we're doing for by our faith, because we know ain't none of these people gonna be able to gang thing on we come down with. It's our faith, you know? It's our faith. We can come out here and not worry about nobody coming. But man, we've been threatening people come out here, threatening to shoot us, and bring their gangs. That'd, be the, I mean, come that'd be the best way to die. Yeah, yeah, serving the Lord. Serving I'm the Lord. with it, man. Right. We with it. We with it. And you see us out here on a continuously basis, you know? The word is consistency. The Lord is looking for consistency. <laughs> Luke 22 and 35, and he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and script and shoes, lack ye not, yak ye anything? And they said nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his script. All right, so you got to have the script. <laughs> and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. And that's the spiritual sword. It's not it's the scripture. Hey, that's why we come out here so people get understanding. I'm about to say that was a man. Right, it could be so. They get it. Nah, it was one all the time. Nah, them trannies, bro, they, they, they get more and more events. I, I tell you, you know, we, we all do. Every, yeah. single, every single last one of you. I don't feel no because. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh, we just say, though, these trannies these days, bro. Nah, bro. They running, they running rampant. That's why they got the, uh, the uh, what was that, the Mori? Uh, oh, yeah. They be having the contest, which one's a woman, which one's a man. Right, right. I mean, off TV, and, and for one, he said, it's the spirit of a man, the spirit of a person. I mean, once you get the Holy Spirit, it's the Holy like, spirit. huh? It's the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? The spirit of the Huh? What's the Holy Spirit? Who? Comfort. The spirit of the Spirit. It's a Huh? Who's a, you, you, you gotta get a complete understanding, man. Okay. But he said he, he said that I was in the front. Okay. Well, St. John chapter 14, John verse 16. John 14 and 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things what? into remembrance. Okay, what what was uh said as the Holy Spirit? Okay, I already told you. You already told that, you. That, that, okay, he, 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 he talks about he talks about the, 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 the anointing. The anointing yeah. that you receive and heal. I got one for you. First Maccabees 12 and 9. Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. He went to Maccabees. What's wrong with Maccabees? Ain't nothing wrong with Maccabees. We get all the books, bro. Maccabees, Revelation, Matthew, Mark, Malachi, we get it all. We come in the volume of the book. It's um, John, uh, chapter 2, 1 John, chapter 2, verse 20. 
Well, let me read this real quick. Uh, John 6 and 63. It says, it is the spirit it, that quickens you. The flesh profit nothing. The words that speak unto you are spirit in your life. life. So this is the Holy Spirit right here. All right. I get uh, uh, John uh, 7 and 38. John 7 38. Yeah. Um, uh, 738. Okay. John 7 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the spirits, which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because that Yahweh Shah was not yet born. So you got to believe on him as the scriptures said. As the scriptures said. Okay, now. Said, as far as I'm all, I believe if, if it's written, then it's a fact. You can't do uh, all, like I said, uh, Ephesians, uh, one of the things I give you all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. And so, I mean, like I was telling you about the script, I mean, if it's in there, it's, I mean, there's no wrong with quoting scriptures, you know. It because a lot of times our people won't even believe the scripture even if we show them the scripture in the Bible. Yeah. So if we don't come out here without Bibles, they're not going to believe us. They'll okay, be like, y'all, you're making that up. So we got to show them. After the first and second admiration, we jay. Of course. So it's more so like some people's like, oh, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? I had to search the scriptures and, and pull out what I feel. This is my faith, you know. Christ came to redeem us from the curse of all and made a curse for us. The curse is every man that hangs up on the tree. Galatians chapter 6 and 16. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all about blessing. I'm gonna live the curse. We're still years. cursed. Huh? We all cursed. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He made a curse. What'd you just say, bro? Galatians 3. I right, we'll say it again, I didn't. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Of the law being made a curse for him. Yeah, but he ain't did that yet, though. We ain't been redeemed yet. Yeah, spiritual bodies change. I mean, he did redeem us through the spirit as far as getting on the cross. As far as. But well, we ain't not we're, we're not in the kingdom. We're not in the kingdom yet. All right. Hold on. <laughs> What's up, we're bro? We're in the kingdom. Wait, what kingdom? His kingdom is come. Really? No. Yeah, no, no. The spirit. The, no, 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 no. The spiritual man, that's, that's the kingdom. No. Those is actually clothing the world. But it's script, there's an actual kingdom coming on the earth. Physical. Hey, get, uh, Physical. get Revelation 2 okay. and 26. Luke get Revelation 2 and 26. <coughs> Luke chapter 22 and verse 29 says, Jesus says, I appointed you, you a kingdom even as my father is appointed unto me. Well, the kingdom of heaven is inside of you first. But okay. there's going to be an actual kingdom. The Lord ain't going to let all this suffering and misery if continue you, forever. If you've lost anything in this lifetime, he says he'll give you a hundredfold. That's exactly. The, that's, that's the kingdom. No, no. Here. Nah, presently. Nah, that's what here. it says, bro. You ain't getting nothing here but hell. That's what it says, bro. Hey, read this right here. Hey, listen to the scripture, bro. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Keeps his works unto the end, which we getting close to the end. We at the end now. Go ahead. To him will I give power over the nations. To him I will give power over the nations. Go ahead. He shall rule them with a rod of iron as a vessel of potter, that shall they be broken to shepherds, shepherds, even as my father, I bear the seed of my father. So he said, if you keep my works unto the end, in the kingdom, you're going to rule over all these nations with a rod of iron. And nigga, we're going to be kings. 11, verse 21. Right. What does Deuteronomy say about the kingdom? No, I'm, I'm saying Deuteronomy, I'm telling you, he says that your days will be like heaven upon the earth. But that was when they was in their own land. No, listen. We're not in our own land, we're, in our kingdom. Ever, right, bro. Who, who, who's ruling over us right now? Our enemies are ruling over us. We, our people are not ruling over us. Right. We, we're, we're not following the laws of Moses. Right. We're following the so they don't even follow the Constitution. Right. We're, we're under the uh, NDAA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. You know about the NDAA? Right. Is that part of the scriptures? Hell no. You know I mean, what when mean? you pick up money, man, you know we're in the kingdom. By when you pick up the, the who's money's on the paper. Money, man? The money's you know? that paper. That's the, how you know we're in the, the Lord is for for physical money. The Lord sanctioned gold to be Ooh, money. That's right. Because he be said. Uh, paper round, man. In our kingdom, uh, the currency is going to be gold, silver, food, cattle, uh, women of other nations, women, slaves. Yeah. 
Well, that's, that's the kingdom. That's the that's that gift that the Lord's bringing. When He mentioned that word gift, I've come quickly in my gift, and I bring it. My gift, my gift is with me. Let me just get it. All right. you right. I'm not look, the kingdom is like, inside of you first. <laughs> But this this right here, right now, we're in hell. This is hell out here. That's why the Lord said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then my servants will fight. My servants. Hey, at not fight each other. At, at, at all right, our people are killing each Look, other. Hold on. Right. Revelation 1 and 6, he said, I made them kings and priests unto them. So it's more so like, hold on. It's all about your mentality. That's, that's no, Revelation. No. King, though. king, king That's mentality. talking about the end. No, king mentality. I we do have the king mentality. We got a king mentality. We got a rulership mentality. That's why. King that's why we just no. read the scripture that said. Because yeah. we yeah. just read Revelation two. Well, we don't gotta agree on that. We agree and disagree. Look, what you don't agree? Nah, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know who God made me. Right, kick him with us, man. I can go get books right. that my spirit ain't right. Yes. Right. 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 Here you go. This is Revelation twenty twenty two. Yes. And behold, I you don't gotta be. Because you may not be part of the kingdom. Yeah, John, you work for Esau, don't you? Huh? You work for the white man. You got to go to the store. I don't copy it nowhere. No. You got to go to the store. You got to go to the grocery store. Go buy some well, how clothes. you eat every day? Buy the bracelet. How did you buy them clothes? Buy the bracelet. Buy the bracelet. He's selling buy drugs, buy drugs, too. By the grace of this God. selling drugs, man. By the grace of God. Let me read this. God and covers because me, I come man. quickly, and no. my reward is with me to give every man according to as his works show me. So yeah, there's that time going to come when they call judgment day. You know what I mean? That's that it. We ain't got there yet. Because there is the end of the age. We're still in, in the age of Esau, the age of the serpent. We're living in the age of Satan right now. Oh, I'm going to get it up got earlier. Oh, Revelation 2 then. The king, Satan sits on his throne in this kingdom. You know what I mean? Because soon we're going to enter a new age. That's so it's going to be that, the kingdom. I'm going to read it again. I'll go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the party asunder of times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. That's so, an apocryphal world. I got you right here. Yeah, but that that actually broke down the scripture in Genesis 25. Uh, Psalms 94. He said that's the apocryphal, but he just said apocryphal was cool five minutes ago. What's that dude's name? He's that dude from, uh, I told you, that Transformers, the computer hacker. What's his name? <laughs> Is it like Anthony or something? Yeah. Uh, it's Psalms 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which is famous mischief by law? How are you going to have the kingdom and the kingdom of Satan at the same time? Just came. Hey, hey, yeah, side by side. That, I mean, like we said, the Lord said, my kingdom is not of this world. So how is the kingdom in this world the Lord's kingdom is not of this world? That don't make no sense. That's confusing. With no understanding, but he still thinks he knows something. He said he ain't none of us kings right now. You gotta have that king mentality, that rulership mentality. But right now, we are not in rulership. Oh, I got one. Okay. The scriptures have not yet been fulfilled. We are not ruling all nations with a rod of iron. We're being ruled with the rod of iron. You know what I mean? We got a yoke around our necks right now. We ain't in rulership right now. You don't see us walking around with our titles and nobility and got slaves. You, you where's all your whores at? Hey, the first last thing I remember going to bed horny is that I got a wife. So we supposed to have all that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. You supposed to have all the concubines in the kingdom. We gonna have so many concubines, bro. That we gonna be just living <laughs> in the, the we're living. What they say? We gonna be living in the lamp of lux. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to be in the kingdom. We're going to be living in the lamp of Lux. We're going to have all the concubines you could ever want, bro. It's crazy. We're going to have, uh, you know, multiple wives. How you doing, man? What's up, man? Yeah, the scripture says seven women shall take hold of one man. But we live in America where it's illegal to have more than one wife. And where it's, uh, where it's legal for faggots to get married. So you're going to tell me this is the Lord's kingdom, right? Right, right. You bugged out your mind. Uh, Deuteronomy 
28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall sin oh. against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in one of all things. And that's what we in one of all things. You know what I mean? We ain't got nothing we want. You know what I mean? No. You, you always wish, because you always, I mean, you know, we don't get envious of Esau or nothing, but you see, Esau got everything. He got fucking Ferraris. You know what I mean? He got all the good shit. We got nothing. Well, we drive in a fucking broke down, rusty ass. You see my ride. It's a piece of shit. I ain't rolling in no Ferrari or no Jaguar. <laughs> You want something you ain't gotta get an oil change too. That's cause that's cause this is not our kingdom. This is not our rest right here. This is this is Eve's kingdom and Esau's kingdom. Exactly. Shit. I got something, bro. This is Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. I have seen servants upon horses and Ooh. princes walking as servants upon the earth. <laughs> that's yeah, that's us. <laughs> You see Esau on his horses. You see him down here every day. Look, he's been down here. He's been down here long enough. You see them motherfuckers riding on their yeah, horses with their badge, you know, with their gat on, you know. When they're supposed to be in slavery. That's right, you know. Like, we're going to do like King David did. We just have them games. Like, the, they got the Olympic Games going on right now. Sitting in the kingdom, we're going to have games where we're throwing Edomites off a cliff. Damn. Seeing who can throw them the far. We ain't going to do a discus throw. We're going to do an Esau throw. Right. You know what I mean? We're gonna right. get them motherfuckers swords. We're gonna tie it to them so they can't drop them and have them just kill each other, man, for entertainment, man. Right, gladiators, right. Because back in the Roman days, man, we were the gladiators. Yep. You know? Hell, before then, you know? Oh, that shit goes right back. That's my scripture. I got a good scripture, too, that to further disproves what your boy is saying. He was speaking madness because our people are still scattered. If we's in the kingdom, how come our people aren't united? You know what I mean? Why is there so much division? What you got, sir? No, no, no. I was going to read this. Hey, uh, this is Leviticus 26 and 27. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sin. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places, cut down your images, cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you. Your land shall be desolate, your cities waste. Look, then shall the land enjoy her Sabbath. Well, that goes to the point, but that's the script. The Lord said, if you don't hearken unto the Lord's word, well, he's going to scatter Israel. And Israel's still scattered, right? Israel ain't been gathered back together. That's right. Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, say, thus said the Lord Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, yep. and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the country wherein they shall come. Therefore, say, thus said the Lord Power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. And that's what we're doing right now. We part, because the scriptures tell you over and over again that, that we were scattered, you know what I'm saying, for our iniquities. And that's why the Lord said you got to teach the gospel to all nations, because Israel was scattered among all the nations. And we, we still out here, and we part of that system process. We out here teaching the word to all nations, and the, and the end ain't gonna come until until the gospel reaches the four corners of the earth, and that ain't happened yet. We but we almost there. What is that? Tell us. The, 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 and then the end will come. Isn't that Matthew? Uh, that Matthew? Dude was saying we was in the kingdom. All right, that's the crazy shit I done heard. So for somebody to know that many scriptures and they say that we in the kingdom right now. Yeah, that was damn hard. Uh,
24 and 14. It says that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness to all nations, and then shall the end come. Right, because the end ain't came yet. Which proves your boy didn't know what the hell he's talking about. Okay. But that was obvious though. I mean, that's... Okay, another point. Okay, uh, uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 27. For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth from even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So, who, who ever seen the Son of Man in the sky? He's never. <laughs> never. Yeah, I would have seen it. So then, so I, like you said, the kingdom was here. Oh, that, that, that clown that came that looked like the Lord, the clown, that didn't count. <laughs> that There's the actually a picture, a popular picture on the internet. It looks like it does look like the Lord of the Clown, man. Oh, you seen the one in Cleveland? The cloud in Cleveland yesterday? Or two days ago? The awesome. Nah, it looked like a big ass cloud in Cleveland yesterday, but it looked like a cherry. It was gigantic. Right. It was ginormous. They're always there. It looked like Independence Day. Yeah. They're always there. And that's why everybody on the comic board too, on the comic board always oh this looked like Independence Day. There's a there's a there's like there's a mothership behind that. And it could very well could have been. <laughs> Check clouds just don't form like that, bro. Right. So let me read this real quick. Hold that for this is Ezekiel 1 and 4. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud. And a fire split itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the mist thereof as the color of amber, out of the mist of the sun. Ooh, the color of amber. Yeah, that's a bad, that's a pretty color. That's the one I saw. Yeah. That same thing was the color of amber, the one yeah. I saw that was above the airplane. It was above the airplane. The airplane, it was beginning to surf, and the airplane was right in the middle of it. You can see there was two separate things, man. Yeah, I bet they seen it on the airplane. It was the color of amber. You'll see some crazy <laughs> shit flying on planes. That's definitely, man. I ain't too. You hear, you hear about uh, Air Force pilot. I mean, you listen to Coast to Coast and radio shows like Coast to Coast. I mean, we would listen to that shit for years. And they always got ex-military flying on the airplanes. And they and it, they constantly on the radio shows telling you they seen the chariots. They came and, you know, tried to stop them and this and that. Commercial pilots. And they was ordered to fight them and attack them. You know what I mean? That's like your boy, uh... What's your boy, Bill Cooper? <laughs> but he said he seen the, the, he said he was in the Navy, but he used to see him go in and out of the water all the time. And he seen government fouls talking about him. Yeah. All scripture, and that's the whole thing that got me into the truth to begin with was UFOs. I seen them when I was a little child. When I was like, I think I was 13 or something, I seen a large group of them, it was just, for a long, and they was just right. dancing in the sky. I thought it felt like they was dancing for me. Right. <laughs> me and my friend both, but he's dead now. But we was both sitting there, we just, for like a half hour, just watched them just dancing around in the sky. Right, right. In ways planes could not move. That's a book I I can't explain that to people that don't understand. You can't see. That you see stars dancing. Exactly. You they know? was dancing. It was like they was putting on the show. Right, right. Yeah, I saw that before too, when I was in jail. My uh, kids, my uh, wife's parents stayed up uh, far gone. You know, ain't no city lights when you go outside the city. Right? Yeah. You, you see, know? oh, you see all kinds of shit. We, we pulled up in their big ass yard because they got one of the driveways. That was the house. The water press was still. It was beautiful, man. Anyway, everybody got out the car and everybody ran into the house with me, man. I wanted to be out looking in the sky, man. While I would lay down in the middle of the yard and I'm looking up, like just like you explained, man. There's a bunch of them just dancing in the, just dancing. Yeah, I'm saying, like, what the? And I got up to go run and get everybody to come see it, man. But they was gone. Everybody. It was something for me to see on They man. did. They was like gracefully dancing. It yeah. was like. They was coming down. And just, That's how they do it. Just doing, they was doing some unusual shit that you just don't. You know it ain't no airplane. You know it ain't no helicopters. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know it ain't no motherfucker with jet packs on their back. You know? And we see it all the time. We'll be looking at a night sky, and you'll see one of them just zip across the sky fast enough, they just stop on a dime. And then, <laughs> boom, in the opposite direction. Or just disappear. Or just disappear. And sometimes they just stop and sit there for a minute. And then they'll start zigzagging. That's beautiful. I was out there with my, uh, one of my, uh, with my friend, he don't believe it, he's a so-called Christian. 
And he wasn't believing me about the chariots one night we was out there. I was like, now watch that star right there. I was like, that's not a star. He's like, whatever. And then that, it started acting crazy. You know what I mean? That dude got bugged out. <laughs> So we're going to rob him, we're going to take the fence. They were going to defense well. Let's kill the aliens. Yeah. Like that dude in the video. Get him, get him. Aliens out there. They're in pain. That dude made a fool of himself, man. Aliens. And that was a joke, too. That's why Esau makes all the movies about the aliens. Yeah. It's funny they use that word. Like I, remember I told you it's funny how they use the word alien. You know, alien starts with the letters A L, which is the same word as Allah. He's a Esau's a trickster, man. He's a fucking he's a snake. Isaiah 19 and 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh riding upon a swift cloud. The Lord the, yeah, the Lord rides upon that swift cloud, man. Man. And that cloud is talking about a chariot. And I, I got a scripture to prove that's a chariot, too. They're like, oh, that's just the ancient storm god, like Thor or something. Oh, yeah. I, that's what people told me, you know. Yeah. But no, he, he tells you that there's actual chariots to fly around and to shoot fire at your ass. There's a video, dude, on the plane. I was talking about the last time was the last time was Dude, recording on the plane. Okay, we'll go. Sun and shit. Yeah, it's feeding energy off of it. Oh, different. Break through it. What? Well, they don't know how big the sun is. They say the sun is like this giant. We don't know. They don't know what the sun is. How big it is? They say like 130 hertz. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's that bullshit. They don't. Even, I bet the sun. They, they, yeah, the sun's probably right there in the sky, right there. Because you got astronauts who said they went in space, couldn't even find the sun. I, they said people was in an airplane, looked down out the airplane window and seen the sun. So I don't, I don't, I don't claim to know. I know what the sun is. How do you going to? And then they're like, oh, we know what the sun is composed of and how it was created. It was created billions of years ago, and nobody was even here billions of years ago. How could you ever prove that? Hey, I'll tell you about it when I go in that motherfucker. Exactly, that's what I said. When you can create your own, since they won't be scientific, since science means knowledge, I got no problem with science. But until you can scientifically prove to me that you create your own sun, your own uh, a solar system and galaxy, and hey, then I'll believe you. Yeah. I'll believe you then. When you successfully recreate the solar system, and, and you know, in, in a scientific test, then I'll believe you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's not too much to ask for, is it? <laughs> no, no. Since you know how to create a sun, to go make one. He said he's like the most high. Go make that motherfucker, bro. He said I will be like the most high. Maybe that's what that CERN shit is about. Oh, you know that CERN's some evil. That, that's simple, I saw but some chronic, chronic. That's your boy. Yeah. Getting it in. How the fuck you catch a buzz smelling that shit? Jake ain't got no. They don't complain when he get a ticket. Yeah, he's been cool. He's been cool. Yeah, <laughs> That's Jake, boy. Yeah. Jake being rebellious. Being cool and being rebellious at the same time, too. <laughs> I got a uh, precept. I got, no, I got hey, what you got? I got a Zechariah 5 and 1. All right. Then I turned and lifted yeah. up my eyes and looked and behold a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. And the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then see, said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. Yeah, because that's going to be a curse to the earth when them chariots come. What's that one scripture said their hearts failed them? 
for fears of things coming up. I think of. Like, that's, that's an Ezra thing. I'm thinking of another something. I'm thinking of another poem. Uh, well, I got a precept though. Psalms 104. Bless Yahweh, O my soul, O Yahweh, my Alahaya. Thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as a garment, or Shalakia, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, which is outer space, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angel spirits his ministers a flaming fire? Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever? That, hey, that new Independence Day, man, that, the big mothership was 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles long? Yeah, it covered, it covered half of America when well, half of it landed. So then the whole America. world would be able to see that world. Right, right, day. right. It just landed right there in Babylon. <clears throat> Parts of it, man. You already seen it? Yeah, it was on the internet. It's on the internet. Uh, half of was out, some of was out in space still, man, when it landed on Earth. That's crazy. If I get the time, I watch it. I definitely gonna watch. But I said, I'm definitely gonna watch That's Ben Hur. Oh, yeah, oh, ben man. Hur, that looks like a bad oh, motherfucker right there. They gonna fuck it up. Oh, uh, it looks right. sweet though. I know. I know. The visuals. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. I like the old Ben Hur though. Charles has. Oh yeah, of course. Charles but that new one, I ain't gonna lie. That, I see that trailer, boy. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker looks yeah. bad. Yeah. There's another one coming out too, though. Damn. Ah. Anyway. Anyway, I got another one. Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roll. With perplexity. <laughs> They're going to be perplexed. Perplexed. That stupid ass look going to be on their face. They done. I can't, especially I can't wait to see these dumbass Israelite bitches faces. Oh. And talked all that shit. It's gonna be crisis. It's gonna be crisis. Crisis, man. Crisis, man. And ain't none of them bitches gonna be quoting scriptures then. Bible quotes. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the power of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming. In a cloud with power and great glory. Yeah, with that power and great glory, that's them chariots. Yeah, they need to pull that bullshit out of her head. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of God. Yeah, look See. up. Your redemption drop not. So it just said the chariots is your redemption, right? Yeah. Well, well, I'm gonna drop my Then it say, down. hold up, and your boy said that Christ has redeemed us from the law or whatever he said. That's right. Did you do when he came? He said the Lord has redeemed us. That's right. Well that right there said our redemption draw not with them chariots. <laughs> People don't know the scriptures, man. See, we know the scriptures. The good, I mean, this is the good shit of the scriptures that we read, man. So we the only ones that had the truth, man. If you, in Mexico City sci-fi movies, they spend their last dollar to go see them, man. But wait, they can watch it. They put it in for well, free. Yeah. You can come over and get it for free. But they, but they, like you said, they go pay that. For the whole family to go to the movies, bro, that costs like a whole paycheck. That shit is expensive. You don't even think about getting no popcorn. Go, oh, man. You go, but you could come up here and get this for free. You gotta get a loan and everything. And this is the best movie I done ever oh, seen. Like to see Jake next yeah, time. Jake is gone. How y'all going, man? Jake is gone, gone, gone. That's a Jake right there. You know that, don't you? Huh? You know what you're saying? Uh huh? Hey, Israelite. Just one second. Just one second. Let me tell you what Jake is. Oh, it wants a gun there. It's a serious understanding that people don't know. You know, you know those, see, see those guys out here that usually have the red and purple one? They'll tell, they'll tell her that she's a devil. But she a sister. That's a sister. Damn, she gets it. dumb. I mean, like, ugh, it's that talking to me. I'm, I'm trying to explain. I'm not agreeing with the punk or the red motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you they teach me wrong. You just got to tell her that 
She's a nigga. And she'll be like, oh, really? Nigga, that's what I'm That's what you got to call her. You a nigga. Oh, oh yeah. You a nigga, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> And that's cursed. What you mean when, when, when yeah, children are inheritance from the Lord? So if they already know they're cursed, hold on. God said, you know what I'm saying? He said Jesus would be a blessing to you. You know, so I, I spent blessings, man. Abundant right. blessings, man. So, this is 2 Kings uh, 6 and 14. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariot and a great host, and they came by night the city of Babylon. And when the servants of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, the host comes the city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, horses. The mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. And that's a bad story, the reason we get into the Yeah, man. That's a bad ass story. Man. Back then, man, the, the Lord just gave us visual, the visual, man. Yeah, he showed you. Yep. He would take you into the future. That's why he did with Ezra in the book of Ezra. Yep. Yep. He pretty much took him. It was like somebody, where do you think the movies got it from? When it, when it, 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 someone comes and takes you and takes you to another dimension, take I like the ghost of future past or something. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Right, right. You know they come with the angel come down, snatch you up. Next thing you are, whoo, whoo, and you in another damn you in the future. And that's what Satan did with the Lord. Sa Satan took the Lord and showed him the kingdoms. It's like I'll give you all these kingdoms. All you gotta do is just bow down to me. And then the Lord cursed Satan out. <laughs> Brother David, I remember he took about that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That was on um, Elijah. You talking about Elijah? No, he took on. Um, that's the book of Spelling the Dragon. Oh, you're talking about, okay, that's. Let me get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, you're talking about like when Enoch was translated? Yeah, Bell of the Dragon. He did pick his ass up then. Yep. It wasn't it translated, was it? Here come your girl. Yeah, I got it right here. The Lord giving her a second. Vehemency. Yeah, vehemency. Oh, that's the best word. Vehement. That's a bad word, too. So it's just described by fierce, man. Angels ain't no nice gods. How you doing nah. They tell you they got a voice of many waters. It's, a, it's tell you that by the angels got that voice, the Lord got the voice, the Most High got the most dreadful voice of them all. That's why we sound dreadful to people. Yeah, I was about to say that. When we get in the spirit, we really want to feel like shouting. Yeah. Like it sounds beautiful. But even when we talk normal like this to people, they be like, why are you shouting at me? What's up, devil? We don't even be yelling, and they tell us to stop shouting. You know what I mean? They get scared because the Lord, the, the spirit of the Lord is a spirit of uh, austerity. You know what I mean? Just like when I said the Lord's an austere man. We ain't coming out here talking about talking all that sweet, soft shit, man. Yeah. That's yeah. why the haters been out here, man, because they don't like that, man. We bad, man. We you know we are. Because we they know we so, mean business. We come in this name of your house. Exactly. And they do make you feel good. And you know what? I get goosebumps sometimes too, man. Yeah, Think about yeah. how, how to get in the spirit, man. We be getting down. For real, especially when you go back and watch the video or something. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I learned stuff from myself. You get down. I'm like, I didn't even know I even said that. Because you get in the spirit. When you get in the spirit, you start teaching stuff. You don't even know. You read so much, man. You don't know what it is. Yeah. He, he used 
Sometimes you like you get put in like a trance. We be out here in a trance-like state, just bringing the truth out. The we, we just a vessel to use. Yep, it's a vessel. It ain't that old vessel. Hey, there's a scripture for that. You know? There's a scripture like that too that says the words. Uh, Find that scripture. I used to bring it out all the time. What it say? The Hebrew says, "Eager, violent, furious, ardent, urgent." Uh, you say Hebrew? Not urgent. Urgent. Uh, eager. I mean, uh, away, perhaps from a lost present middle uh, principle of prayer to carry. It says, "See vehicle." That's the point I want to get. Right. 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 Look here with um, uh, he was in the pit. The pit, the pit with the lion. Well, let me just read. Here should be on the dragon of uh, third, 33 verse. Now there was a jury, a prophet, and jury, a prophet, called Habakkuk, who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel who is in a lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown, took him by the crown. Now, <laughs> that can't be the nice guy then, nice angel then. Pick his ass up by the head. <laughs> hey, I remember back when I was in, uh, I remember back when I was in middle school, we had this wood shop teacher, bro. He get pissed at you. He get, man, he'd come on, pick your ass up by your ear. Shoot, that's how my dad was. Yeah. Boy, come Grab you, you like motherfucker. Come here, do, yeah. do, you do this. Yeah. Oh shit, my dad was mean, man. Dude, that dude was real mean. Nobody liked him. <laughs> you didn't want to get smashed I, it's up. Not like I would have liked it though. Oh yeah, he loved my mean teachers, man. Now, my probably, dad was meaner, and they wasn't shit compared to my dad. Oh yeah. Well, now all the teachers can't do that no more. No, he locked up. He get locked up for some shit. Faggot ass school system. Right. Then, the, cause you, you do want your children in front of somebody you can trust. Yeah, of course. Ain't gonna let them get out of line. We know, but this. Yeah, hey, hey, that whole shit's fucked up. Fuck these motherfuckers. Yeah, fuck all these faggots. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head, and through the vehemency of his spirit, set him in Babylon over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, "Oh Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which the Most High hath sent thee." And Daniel said, Thou yeah. hast remembered me, O Yahweh, neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So Daniel arose and did eat, and the angel of the Lord sent Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. So he took the way he took him, he brought him back the same way. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, the angels got power. Daniel's yeah, right. Because we beat, man. Because, you know, like, like, uh, like, uh, uh, when the brother was in the mouth of the uh, well, you know, I can't think. Man. Jonah. Right, right. Like, uh, you know, that's easy, easy Jonah. I can't think. That's how I would be like that all time. He just didn't want to go do the work, man. We just finished flesh, man, get weak and shit. But for any reason not to, that ain't us, though. But that's, that is a lot of brothers doing for any reason not to come out and do this work, man. Oh, today it was raining this morning. I was, I was joking with him on uh, me I messaged him earlier. I told him, like, you know, it, if we go out today, I don't know if we should go out because we might get wet. <laughs> we might get sick. You might catch a cold. Why are we going to go out? It's all wet. You might get... <laughs> Shit. That's why I got my waterproof video camera. We ain't going to be stopped. I come out here in a goddamn monsoon. I'll leave this motherfucker soaked. I don't I don't even care, bro. For real. I'm scared of a little water, man. It's like, like, it's, like it's a bitch, you know? I'm scared to get wet. I'm scared to get cold in the wintertime. They especially won't go teaching in the wintertime. And they actually made videos saying that you can't do it because it's too cold. Yep. <laughs> like you do Baloo. That big old fat faggot. He, he's got to be a homosexual, bro. Because he see the way he talks like an Edomite. He might be a terrorist, we know. Because he talks like he does not talk like a Jake. He talks really gay, very, very gay. And I don't mean happy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> she thought that was funny, bro. And she has some real hair. <laughs> she got real hair. <laughs> but it's funny though, your girl laughed at her because she got real hair. Right, 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 right. Oh, hey, if that was real hair, that was like a man. That's, That's real? Yeah, Jake drove real. You can tell it's real. Jake drove real hair. Yeah. I don't know. That That's real. Yeah, that ain't man. fake. I don't know. I don't really look at it, man. Cause if they're gonna get the face, yeah, they shit. do it. They hide it good, man. I don't know. That looks look so real. If they, they do the hair good, man. It looks real. I can tell. You know, like I said, if it is real, that can change some man. But for me, oh, the Israelite shit. man grow longer hair than the Israelite woman. Hey, that's I a curse. No, I don't grow no hair at all. If I let my if I let my hair grow out, I look like your boy from the Three Stooges. What's his name? Curly? Not Curly. Uh. Uh, that, uh, Larry. Larry, Larry. He all he got the big bald head, and fucking rest of his hair long as hell. Larry <laughs> yeah, Larry Curly and Poe. Heathens. I'm the fucking chrome dome. Oh yeah, I, I saw. I thought he's calling the Three Stooges heathens. Then I seen them. Heathens. Wait, I know you ain't calling the Three Stooges heathens. No, no, no. Let me fight, bro. Like three like that. Man, Moe's my dude, bro. Everybody likes Curly. Moe's my favorite. He be fucked this bitch. He fucks all of them up. And he's the dumbest one of them all. And he's the leader. And that's like our people, though. The dumbest, dumbest of the bunch is the leader. Don't let him try to build nothing. If he should be looking like... You ever see that episode of Three Stooges? When they did the plumbing job? And they was running plumbing through electric, electrical wires through the plumbing. That's some shit our people would do. Um, this is a Exodus 13 and I'm going to start 17. He came to pass the Pharaoh and let the people go that the Most High led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines. Although they were here, but Most High said, "Let's tell Benjamin the people repent when they seek war, and there and they return to Egypt." But the Most High led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up farthest out of the land of Egypt. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, the "Most High will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away." It's oh yeah, because yeah, before because Joseph before he died he prophesied that they was gonna carry his bones about of Egypt, right? And they actually did it. They when the Israelites left Egypt, they took Joseph's bones out there with them. A lot of people don't know, don't know about that little part right there. Where is that at? In, uh, Exodus. Yeah, Exodus. Exodus uh, 13, 20. And they took their journey from Sechem and encamped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. Um, he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night for the people. Oh, there goes the UFOs again, so the chariots. That's the chariot to the Lord, the so-called UFOs. You know what I'm saying? That that led us about the uh, out of here. Yeah. 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 You got a lot of that, man. And they get caught up in some shit. She probably did some shit she wasn't supposed to do. She got sliced up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got her. Cause these women, they'll piss their man off so bad they commit adultery, and then they get all amazed and shocked when they're getting their head chopped off or getting lit on fire, they're getting gasoline poured on them, getting their nose melted off. You ever seen the bitches on them talk shows? They can be on the talk shows talking about how they how they got caught on fire, now they ain't got no lips, and they raise trying to raise money so they can get some plastic surgery. That's a terror of the Lord right there. Kings of terror. You gotta pray to the most high, that ain't gonna be the end of it. He's coming, the kings of terror. 
Not the ones that love Jesus. <laughs> I love Jesus. Yeah, the Lord's name ain't Jesus, okay? I love Jesus. <laughs>